In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down some high school level basketball plays that are great to use at both the junior and senior levels. Let's get down. Let's check this out. If you're looking for a killer defense, make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense down in the description below. It doubles the low post and traps the corners. Okay, so what I really like to do is have the five out offense as kind of our base offense, and I like to run plays out of the five out, mainly because now we can see who's on the court and be able to see who's in what position for what plays we want to run. So the first play I really like out of the five out is the four out. So for example, if player one calls four out for player five, so let's say player five's name is Kyle, right? And he says, for Kyle. Kyle go to the high post and then because he came from this side player three will move down player one will move over and now let's say we're playing against a man-to-man -man, player one will then have the option to either pass to player two which is a risky pass and should not be done or pass to player five or pass to player three. He's got a couple of different options here and the first option that I really like the best is always trying to get it into the high post whether or not you're playing up against a man-to-man -man or a zone this is where I really like to run my offense out of when it comes to my four out offense after player one passes to player five player one cuts to the rim but also player two cuts to the rim as well and when these players cut to the rim players three and four are going to be covering or at least filling the high or the the free throw line extent at the wing so those players will then of course fill the wings if player five has a pass down to players two or one he better take it some easy layups he can also kick it out to player four or to player five or even three once that ball is kicked back out let's say these players who were cutting were not open then at that point player four could pass to player five he could pass to player two but let's say because we already know what happens in the offense if we pass to player five let's say we pass to player two well now player five will set that back screen for player four and player four will then cut to the rim this could be a wide open pass for a layup if he gets that ball, a player one plays help, then of course you can kick it out for a three. Let, but let's say he's not open. Let's just take that aspect of it. If player four is not open, there's a few different ways you can run this, but personally, I like to turn this back into a five out. So player five moves out, player three fills, player one fills, player four fills out. And at that point, we would be back in our five out, in which case we can pass and cut to the rim or we can drive and then kick the ball out to somebody. There's a multitude of different options that you have out of the five out, which leads me into the five out offense that I like to run. And of course you can get my complete guide to the five out basketball offense down in the description below. But let's say we're running the five out offense. And yes, while I have player three up at the point playing point guard right now, the great thing about the five out offense is pretty much anybody can be anything at any time during the offense. But the first really simple offense that I really, really like out of the five out is what I call pin down. In pin down, we're going to have players one and five setting pin down screens for the corners. The corner players will then pop up. And then if player three gets the ball to player two as an example, and let's say there was a switch and player five is rolling towards the basket, we could get that ball into player five for the layup. These are quick, simple hitters, quick hitters out of the five out that work extremely good if you're trying to get points fast. If player five's not open, but player two got that ball, then he's going to clear out. Player one is going to clear out to the opposite side. And now we can go into the, what I call the base five out offense, which is pass and cut or pass and screen four or even screen away you've got multiple different options i personally love when my team passes and screens away because now what happens is player two and player one may be open for a pass and something that i always like to teach my players as well and you've probably seen a few of the highlights on this channel is after they set screens away when they start setting other screens for other players as well. When that starts happening, we have an absolute massive game 
like our recent 100 plus point win. So if you can teach your team, hey, like if we're ever stuck or if you're cutting to the rim, you didn't get the ball, just go screen for somebody. I really don't care who you screen for as long as you get somebody else open because then you may have a, a ball screen happening and an off ball screen happening and now you've got potentially four different options for your ball handler to pass to and my, that 100 point win was fantastic we played really good so a fun little favorite offense of mine is something that i we we just automatically somehow run out of the five out i never even taught my team this play i just kind of suggested with them doing this one day but basically we have uh our our five out and then we call four out we have a guy go to the high post well whenever this happens against a zone i tell my weak side player or one of my players who are along the corners to go into what I call the Russian spot slash dunker spot which is right there behind the backboard and the idea here is if we can get that ball into the high post and drag these players higher well now we will have two different options we're going to have these two guys right here being guarded by one single player and when that is the case if we have that happening well, now player five is in control of the game. So, of course, player three is the one who passed to the high post. But now he could be also cutting to the rim. He may be open for a pass as well. But now, going back to these two players, what we're looking at is potentially player five able to pass a player two for a layup. Or if player four is playing too low, worried about that low post guy, we can have a wide open three, or if he's not even paying attention to that low post guy, player five could pass the player two along the baseline for the layup. There's so many different options. I hope that these plays help your team win more games. If they do, hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to go check out my five out offense down below, as well as, or I mean, my five out complete guide down below, but also my unbeatable basketball defense down there as well. I'll see you guys again in my next video.